Hi Tubers, this is Zero Amps and today I'm going to show you how I built uh, this project and I'm also going to explain to you the main difference uh, between input and input pull-up yeah, in Arduino. <laughs> All components I'm going to use uh, in this video are from this uh, starter kit, yeah, which I bought on AliExpress. So I'm going to need uh, this uh, Arduino prototyping board, some jumper wires. The key components which I'm going to use today are the LED 220 ohms resistor, the push button, yeah. I'm also going to need this uh, breadboard yeah, for prototyping and after connecting all those components yeah, all together it's going to be like this yeah. this is a schematic yeah, for the project as you can see the LED is connected to the pin 4 yeah, via resistor to the ground the push button is connected on one end to the pin 8 and on the other end to the common ground. Let's move to the Arduino IDE. Yeah, here is a sketch for the build. Yeah, these are two definitions uh, for the pin eight. Yeah, and for the pin four. In the setup function, I defined the pin eight as an input pin with enabled pull-up resistor, and the pin four. Yeah, which is LED as an output yeah in the loop function i read uh, in loop yeah the input pin and when it's low it means when it's pressed yeah it turns uh, on the led yeah otherwise uh, the button is not pressed and the led is uh, off yeah after uploading you can see the sketch in action yeah i'm pressing the button and the led is turning on and off. Maybe you are asking why I decided to use uh, for input pin uh, input with the enabled pull-up resistor. Yeah, and this question I'm going to answer now. I've prepared this uh, small sketch in which I'm going to use the pin 8 and I'm going to enable to, for this pin internal pull-up resistor. Yeah, it's going to be input pin. And in the loop function, I'm going to read this pin and the value is going to be displayed in a serial monitor, yeah, in the Arduino IDE. But let's upload a sketch. And this is my Arduino prototyping board, yeah. And I'm going to push a jumper wire to the pin 8. But this time the jumper wire is not going to be connecting to anything else yeah if I return back to the Arduino IDE to the serial monitor and you can see that the value yeah which is a read from unconnected uh, pin yeah is a logical one let's connect it now the jump wire to the ground and let's see how it's going to behave yeah and as you can see it has changed to zero yeah and now let's uh, toggle with the jump wire like this yeah I'm connecting the jumper wire to the ground and then I'm disconnecting it. Yeah, and let's see how it behaves uh, in the serial monitor. Yeah, as you can see, when it's connecting to the ground, it's zero, and if it's unconnected, it's a one. Again, ground zero, unconnected one. Yeah, zero, one, and like this. Yeah. And this way, pins with enabled pull-up resistor are behaved. Yeah, the just two values. Yeah, you can read from such pins: logical one or logical zero. There is no undefined value; just these two for enabled pull-up. Yeah, resistor. Okay, and now I'm going to show you how just input yeah parameter behaves. In my sketch, I've just uh, changed input pull-up to just uh, input yeah, parameter. 
and take a look at my Arduino yeah prototyping board the jumper wire is not connected and let's see how it behaves in a serial monitor and as you can see the value is floating yeah it means that value is uh, changing yeah zero one zero one zero one yeah randomly the value is undefined and now I'm connecting the jumper wire to the ground and then disconnecting it yeah and once again connecting to the ground and disconnecting it and let's check the serial monitor yeah how it behaves now it's connected to the ground and now it's disconnected connect it to the ground and again disconnect it now I'm connecting the jumper wire to the 5 volts uh, pin yeah and then I'm disconnecting it and I'm doing that uh, several times yeah and let's return back to the serial monitor yeah to check how it behaves now the wire is disconnected so the value is floating now it's connecting to the 5 volts now it's disconnected yeah connect it again to the 5 volts yeah disconnect it and like this and now you also know how the input parameter behaves yeah pins without uh, enabled pull up resistor have three values logical one logical zero and undefined or floating on the other hand with enabled pull up resistor yeah they're just two values yeah logical one or logical zero there are no undefined values and now you probably know why i decided for enabled pull up resistor for my arduino project so look at the board and when the push button is not pushed the pin is disconnected and when it's pushed the pin is connected with the ground and if I decided for input instead of input pull up the value for unpressed button would be floating and that I don't want to yeah of course the next topic is going to be a little advanced I'm going to show you in my first measurement how much current flows from the pin with enabled pull-up resistor to the ground and as you can see it is uh, 129 microamps and now I'm going to connect it to the 5 volts pin and as you can see there is no current yeah when I check the data sheet yeah, for microcontroller which is used on my Arduino prototyping board it's almost the same yeah for 5 volts there is no current yeah for 0 volts there is about 140 microamps and the point is if you don't use some pins on your Arduino prototyping board or in AVR microcontrollers generally it's beneficial to enable internal pull-up resistor for those pins yeah this way you can reduce power consumption and that was the last information I wanted to give you today I hope you've enjoyed this video you've learned something new thank you for watching and see you next time